So in September of 2020, Peloton announced their new and more expensive premium Peloton Bike Plus. So I call it premium because it's more expensive at $2,495 and it has more features than the original Peloton bike. But the real question is, are those extra features worth it? And should you buy the Peloton bike or the Peloton bike plus? The hardware on the Peloton Bike Plus has four major hardware upgrades. The first is the screen. It's now larger at 23.8 inches. And more importantly, and way more exciting is it swivels. So now you can do those bike boot camps and all those other classes around your bike and not worry about whether you can see the screen or not. The other upgrade, which surprised me a lot that I actually enjoy using as much as I do, is the speakers. The speakers sound probably 10 times better than the original ones. The original ones sound like tablet speakers from 10 years ago. The new ones, they sound like they have bass. They just sound significantly better. And honestly, if no one's here, it's later in the day at my house, I will do workouts without even using headphones now because that's how good they sound. The feature I was most excited about and I love the most by far is the Apple Gym Kit support. So Apple Gym Kit is their technology that allows the Apple Watch to sync to the Peloton bike. So you can just use your Apple Watch for your heart rate and you get all that metrics and information from the Peloton bike easily into Apple Fitness. Probably the feature I was least excited about whenever the Peloton Bike Plus was announced is the auto follow feature. This allows you to set your resistance and then as the instructor changes resistance, it'll automatically move it for you. Overall, when it comes to the hardware, it's just like the original Peloton bike. It feels very premium, it feels very solid, and everything else about the bike besides those four upgrades are basically the same. When it comes to the hardware of the bike, one thing to take into account is what's inside this screen here, which is the processor for the actual bike. So they're always adding features, they're always adding new things that the bike can do, and having a processor that can handle that and be supported is very important. So when you buy the new bike here, you're gonna have the newest processor, and it's gonna be supported the longest. Now, if you have the older Peloton bike, that's been out for a few years. Like, I had my bike for three years. So that processor, that whole setup is at least three years old. So it's not gonna be supported as long. So it's something to think about when you're trying to choose between these bikes. Hardware is part of the equation, but the other part is the software and the classes. So to be able to use the software and get the full features of the Peloton, the live classes, the on-demand library, the metrics, all that you do have to have a $39 subscription. So this is $39 every month. But what you're getting for that is a ton of live classes. Those instructors, you have to pay them. You have to pay for the infrastructure. It costs money if you want that quality. You can not pay and get something else cheaper, but you're not gonna have the same experience. So this is the Peloton Bike Plus home screen. So whenever you first sign in to your account, this is what you're gonna see. There's my little uh, profile picture. Electric Chris is my name. How many times I work out this week? 51 weeks week streak. This right here at the top is what's the next live classes that are coming up. And then we just have a kind of a curated stuff here based on what I do, kind of personalized to me. My daily picks, instructors I use. It's a lot going on. I don't really use this screen a lot. Maybe the, the first section here to find my instructor that I like, which is usually Emma Lovewell, and easily hop into her classes. But what I do use a lot is the classes section here. We're gonna skip programs. We'll come back to classes in a second. So here is uh, classes. This is where you're actually gonna be able to search through here and find different instructors, different lengths of classes, different music genres, different class types. And that's all cycling. And again, this is just a quick overview on this. And then we have here floor stuff. So this is the other stuff that's available for you to do. You got that new swiveling uh, screen here. So we have floor strength, stretching, yoga, the strength is something I'm a fan of. A lot of some weightlifting, strength training. So there's that. And then we have a schedule here. So the schedule is, this is everything that's coming up live. That's why you buy Peloton, right? For live classes or at least the really awesome instructors. So we have a six o'clock today. That's all we have left for Friday. And then going into Saturday, you can see this is Saturday, 6 a.m. classes. Seven, 
you know, 8.30, look at this. So a lot of options here, there's schedule. And then here at the bottom, on the left here, I'm gonna show you this and we're gonna wrap up the tour of the interface here. So on the left, this is your profile information. Pretty cool, this is where you can see total number of workouts, 955, 623 cycling, you can see all of this. And I've been getting credit for running uh, workouts and 99% of these were on a, a gym treadmill using the digital Peloton digital iPad or iPhone app. So here's some more stuff. You got a calendar, you can see when you worked out, how active you were, um, how many workouts, like all this good info, all these metrics. And this is just the basic stuff. You can get even more in depth here. We'll go to the calendar to get more information here about my last, uh, you know, in October, what I've done in October. We got workout history, another way to find all your workout history information here. You can see all mine. See, I, I do, uh, you know, quite a bit here because I like Peloton, obviously. Then we got achievements. These are all the things that I was telling you in the uh, challenges. So these are things you, you unlock and you get badges and a lot of really cool stuff here. You can check how many runs, how many rides, you get badges for all of that. Very cool and very motivating. Uh, activity is going to give you some more bar graphs here, distance, calories. You want to see all that. Average output, heart rate, tons of stuff. Music is one of my favorite sections here when they added this is, is really awesome. This lets you connect your Apple Music or Spotify as you're listening to music during a ride. You'll be able to hit, uh, basically save it to a playlist that'll show up on your phone in your Apple Music or your iPhone. Whenever you launch a ride, you're gonna get this window right here. This is gonna be the preview. It's kind of what the class is, 20 minutes. It's gonna have a lot of information too, whether it's explicit, you know, you can kind of read your subtitles, the ratings, and that's all done by the users at the end of the ride. Um, we got the music that's featured, and if you wanna see the playlist and the songs, you can see if you heart any of these, they get added to that playlist I was talking about. I mean, this is awesome right here. Um, you can see the, the plan. If there's any arms or anything, or if you're going to get off the bike and do boot camp, you can see all that right here. And then last, but certainly not least, is the number of people who've taken this workout. So once you start your class, this is what it looks like. I'm a few minutes here into this one. And we'll go through the menu here and take a look here. We got how much time is remaining, heart rate, which is based off the Apple Watch. I got a fee here. This is people as they high five me, stuff like that. Here you can see the music I was telling you about earlier. So I can hit the little heart button right there and that'll show up on a playlist on my phone, which is pretty awesome. Here on the right, we got the leaderboard. This is how you get racked and stacked. You know, who's the highest, who's producing the most, basically energy. Down here, there's our cadence, our resistance on the right, and then our output. Big thing about this resistance, you see how it's yellow. That means I just tap this right here and now it's gonna automatically change as my instructor changes the resistance. And it's gonna keep me, if I'm at the bottom of this range right here, let me stop for a second so you can see it, 30 to 40, if I'm at the bottom, like at 30, then it's always gonna keep me at the bottom of her range that she gives. If I'm at the top, it'll keep me at the top. So it's a great, very intuitive, very, very easy to understand and to turn it on and off. But feature I love. And continuing on now at the bottom here, we have some more info here, we got Speed, which let me start pedaling so you can see that. P speed, distance. You can hide all these menus too if you want with those arrows. Uh, total output, how, this is how much energy I've created. It's how they kind of rate you on the leaderboard. And then, interesting, you can see active calories, total calories. I'm actually not pedaling that hard for this video, but total calories is, you know, how much to total calories you've, you've burned. But if you have your Apple Watch, you have active calories. If you see it right there, this is how much on your Apple Watch, how much you've actually burned on the bike, not your normal metabolism. So it's gonna be a little bit less than your total calories because normally you're burning calories when you're just sitting here. But the real secret sauce of Peloton is the instructors. Peloton is like the place to go. This is the big leagues if you're one of those instructors. You're gonna make more money, you're gonna get more exposure, you're gonna get sponsorship deals. Like this is gonna be the place you're gonna to wanna to go. So Peloton can pick the instructors that have the best charisma, personalities, the most entertaining stories. They're gonna give you the best of the best instructors. One thing that I really like about the instructors is that each one of them could put their own spin on indoor cycling. Yes. Pun intended. For example, Hannah Corbin, uh, she has these pick-me-up rides, which 
are, you know, the rides that are not really meant to just destroy you at the end of it. They're ones that just get some endorphins, make you feel better, you know, pick me up. Ali Love has Sundays with Love. There's, there's a ton of different classes, top by instructors for different scenarios and experiences. Another really unique feature of Peloton is how involved the company and instructors are in social media, like Facebook and Instagram. Every instructor has a very active Facebook group just for them that they participate in and all the riders who like riding with them can participate in. They also have Instagram. There are tons of different ways that you can interact with your favorite instructors. So that is the Peloton Bike Plus. So after using it for a month now, the biggest question I have is why are they still selling the cheaper Peloton? If you wanna finance the original bike for the lowest payment you can get, it is $49 a month for 39 months, while the Bike Plus is only $64. You're talking about a difference of $15 a month, and you get a better screen, better speaker, Apple Gym Kit support if you have an Apple Watch, a newer, newer processor, newer technology, the $15 a month, around $600 between the two, I think is a no-brainer. Thanks for watching. If this video helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you have questions about the Peloton Bike Plus or the original Peloton, then hit me up down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.